Whitehaven is showing signs of a comeback, what boosters are calling a new wave of momentum thanks to nearly two dozen businesses setting up shop in recent months and the promise of more to come. ABC 24's Jay Shakur is live in Whitehaven tonight finding out more about what's behind this recent hot streak. Uh, Jay, what are business owners telling you? Richard, business is booming here in Whitehaven and the small business owners I spoke to say that it's prime time for business growth and there are no signs it's letting up. For those who called Whitehaven home the past year brought plenty of positives, namely a flurry of new businesses opening their doors. For a little over the past 12 months, we have had an influx of businesses in Whitehaven. We are very excited about this. Community leaders said more than 20 businesses opened, providing jobs, eliminating blight, and giving entrepreneurs new hope. Those businesses include big brand names such as Starbucks and AutoZone, but also mom and pop small businesses. Gregory Price, who owns Vineyard Memphis, an entertainment venue on Elvis Presley Boulevard, said Whitehaven's location is an advantage. Uh, when I was growing up in Whitehaven, it was a self-contained unit. I mean, they had everything that you needed. So much has gotten away from that neighborhood, but it's still a beautiful place to stay and a beautiful place to be and to own a business. Kamisha Wilson, the founder of a creamery, Case Pints and Scoops, agreed. They have great access to everywhere because where we are, we're right here off the expressway. So um, it's easy to get here. It takes about 13 to 15 minutes to get anywhere in the city of Memphis from here. Since launching in Whitehaven last June, Wilson's business now distributes ice cream to 16 area retailers. She's confident other Whitehaven success stories can be launched in the coming months. You can envision yourself and make your space in Whitehaven and the community will support you. If it is from Memphis, if it's made in Memphis, Memphians will come out and support and help you um, survive through those first few years. Now, a lot of those that I spoke to credit the Community Navigator Pilot Program. It was started with funds from the COVID American Rescue Plan. They say that it broke down barriers for underrepresented entrepreneurs. Live in Whitehaven, I'm Jay Shakur.